right, our book today is Doris the Bookasaurus, written by Diana Murray and illustrated by Yu Yi Chen. So yesterday, with Groovy Joe, Ice Cream, and Dinosaurs, we explored uh, rhyming. Um, we're going to do the same thing today. So it's really neat how rhymes uh, kind of break down the sounds of words and really help our youngest readers um, learn more words because the sounds are similar, and so it helps build the, their vocabulary. So let's check out Doris the Bookasaurus. Hooray for books, I love them so. I get a wagon load to go. My mom says, got enough there, Doris? Goodness, you're a bookasaurus. Yes, I always need some more. Hooray for books, they make me roar. I read them at the dino store and stopping by the swampy shore while lounging in my boulder bed and standing on my spiky head. I can't be more enthusiastic. Books are mega dino-tastic. We've had rhymes and dinosaurs two days in a row. But my brothers don't agree. TJ says, come play with me. Let's go play some dino tag or stego books or chomp the flag. I'd like to play, of course I would, but oh, these books are just so good. My spiky tail begins to wiggle when my joke book makes me giggle. I grab a mic to read out loud and soon I've got a rowdy crowd. Question, why did the dinosaur cross the playground? Answer, to get to the other side. What do triceratops sit on? They're tricerabottoms. There's a book that we read that's similar to this. I need to find it. I can't remember if it was in the fall or if it was last year, but there's a story about a girl who loves to read and her brothers don't. And then they fall in love with reading by the end of the book and they find all these adventures. I need to find that. I'll try to, I'll try to do that tonight and I'll make an announcement tomorrow if I find it. I'll close the book and take a bow. I'll read a book of records now. Max and TJ start to growl. Doris, no more books they howl. In a minute, yet not yet, Max, I can't believe these tasty facts. The largest pizza ever made would bring you to your knees. Do you think you could do gobble down 8,000 pounds of cheese? Ooh. Up, here we go. I said 8,000 pounds of cheese. And true to form, this dynamic duo shows up. Hello, kids. All right. Okay, I know. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I know. Kisses, kisses. I love him. I love him. Suddenly, I want a snack. I pile my chips in one tall stack. The tallest in the world, I bet. Another dino record set. I'll start another book and then my brothers come around again. But then I hear a loud kaboom, hot lava flows around my room. I need one minute more, I say. The hero has to save the day. <coughs> hey, nah. I swish my cape and soar up high. I'll use my freezing spray, I cry. I zoom above the lava flow and take a super breath to blow.
Max and TJ make a fuss. Doris, Doris, play with us. No more books you've read a ton. But I just picked another one. This book is sure to be a hit. Just look at all the sharks in it. And I know some of my kiddos love sharks. I'm beginning to think the book I read last year is actually this book. Yes, it is this book. Do I have two copies? Because <laughs> I just bought this one. Mm. Max and TJ stop and stare. Did you say there are sharks in there? Yes, I say come take a look. I clear my throat and read the book. A scurvy, scaly pirate crew set sail across the sea. When Captain Bluehorn cried, Land ho! That's where the treasure be. I twitch my tail, I feel so proud. It's fun to share a book out loud. Now grab this treasure map, I say, because... We're off to Shark Tooth Bay! Shark Tooth Bay was full of sharks. What could the pirates do? Yar! their clever captain yelled. We'll toss them fish head stew. At last we make our way to land. We'll count our foot stomps in the sand. The island sun is blazing hot. Yar! shouts Max. Rex marks the spot. We'll find a treasure to behold, a pile of loot worth more than gold. It's a whole treasure trove of books. I'm all revved up from head to toe. Hey guys, who wants to play? Let's go. I dribble out into the hall. Come on, let's play some Bronto ball. They hardly hear a word I say. They're in a story far away. <laughs> so, Mr. Fitzpatrick is a bookosaurus because I... I don't know where, I don't know where the other book that I have of this is, or else I wouldn't have bought another one, but it's a great story, <laughs> and I must have forgot that I read it last year, because I know I didn't read it this year, it had to be from last spring. Um, I love how her brothers want to play, and she says, no, there's a lot of great adventures in these books. And then they realize by the end, it's not an either or. It's not going out and play or reading. It's going out and playing and reading. And so there's room in our worlds for both. But maybe Mr. Fitzpatrick needs to uh, catalog his book collection a little bit better. Because I'm probably wasting a lot of money. All right, have a good day. I hope you uh, enjoyed the rhymes in this book. I really enjoyed reading it to you, as I always do. So have a great day.